If a picture really is worth a thousand words, let's talk about some of our neighbors. Here's the story with Jerry Hayes. Look around. This really is Alabama the Beautiful. The Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources got thousands of entries for its 2021 Outdoor Alabama Photo Contest. From the mountains of North Alabama to the shores of the Gulf Coast, photographers captured the natural beauty that surrounds us. There were 10 different categories ranging from birds and bugs and butterflies to Sweet Home Alabama and young photographers. Chris Baker of Madison is a NASA engineer at Marshall Space Flight Center, but he's also somewhere between an amateur and professional photographer. I am starting to blur the line. He shoots photos for his friends and sells some of his work online. I mean, I, I'm not making a ton of money off of it, but you know, people started buying stuff here and there and I thought, oh, okay, that's kind of fun. A hobby that pays for his photography addiction. <laughs> it's paying off all the new equipment I keep buying. <laughs> the Outdoor Alabama contest allows each person to enter eight different shots. I bit the bullet and said, well, I'm going to enter one in, in eight different categories and give myself the best chance of, uh, of getting some awards. His strategy paid off. He won two first place nods, one second and one third. His secret to capturing moments like this? Patience. Especially the wildlife photos, because they wonder, well, how do you get this wildlife, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to any exotic locations. I'm usually in my backyard. Some shoots, he comes back with nothing, but sometimes... You gotta be willing to sit in the mud and, and tolerate the bugs and, <laughs> and just wait, wait it out. He captures a work of art. Sure, yeah, you gotta sit on the shoreline and, and just be real quiet and wait. And, you know, you, you kinda have to get to know the, the habits of your animals that you're, that you're stalking. It's hard for him to pick a favorite out of his four winning entries. The, the fishing one was kind of interesting only because that was a happy accident. I didn't plan that one. Uh, I, I, so we were camping and I happened upon this fishing tournament and I had my gear with me. And I thought, well, this is kind of a neat scene with all these colors. But if he had to choose, it would be his shot of the Neowise Comet. He did his homework before heading to Guntersville State Park. You know, Mother Nature cooperated just enough. It was very cloudy that day, and it was kind of hit or miss whether we were going to see it. And the clouds broke just enough. And, and yeah, you could see the comic clearly. You still had some interesting clouds in the sky. You had that glow uh, of the city in the background, and, you know, a nice calm lake in the foreground. A moment in time captured forever. There is no perfect picture. That's what I figured out. There's always something something I can improve on. Until a better shot comes along. Jerry Hayes, News 19. To see all of the winning entries from around the state, check out the story on whnt.com. We put a link there to the Outdoor Alabama Flickr page, and we'll also give you a link to see more of Chris Baker's work.